way too early. Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.05 on this Monday morning. Uh, before we get started, another announcement. Um, so I've decided that I guess I will put a little more effort into these things. Um, and uh, I think starting with the last one, um, you'll if you look at the Rubik's Cube episode, you'll notice that uh, I've added background music. Yay! Not quite elevator music, not as boring as that, but still background music. Uh, nothing too distracting, just some white noise filler. Um, hope you like that. And so I think from here on out we'll do that. Uh, what that means is that um, the videos won't be available right after I record because um, I really don't have time in the morning to add that music. I have to wait till I come back from work. So it'll probably be tonight. So I'll record in the mornings, go to work, come back, do my day, add the edits tonight, and release them at night. Okay, so today's topic, um, way too early for explanations, is uh, wireless charging. So, um, we... Uh, blah, yep. Yeah. Um, so a couple articles that I've read... Um, so we've had wireless charging so far already for, for a limited number of, of applications. Um, uh, if you have a, if you have a toothbrush, um, an electric toothbrush, it may be wireless charging already. Uh, my toothbrush does that. Um, you stick it on a stand and it charges the battery. You can pull it off and... And I don't, and I don't mean like um, a battery or a um, a toothbrush with with like metal contacts that that plug into a base. Um, it's just uh, you set it on a stand. There's no metal contacts, and and the charging it happens not through electrical contact. Uh, also, for a couple years now, we've had wireless charging for phones. There's a company that came out that, um, you know, normally you, you plug your phone in to charge. Well, this company came up with a device where you, you actually plug in um, uh, sort of a receiving unit, and then you have a, a base platform that you just set it on top. Uh, there's no electrical contact connection, and yet it, it charges. That's a remote charging. So... So what's new here? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I saw an article, and I'll, I'll put the article down below, um, where a company was going to look into adding wireless charging capability to appliances, like kitchen appliances, toasters, blenders, um, whatever, uh, microwaves, maybe even up to like fridges and stuff like that. And, and then last week, I saw an article where company wants to come out with a wireless charging router so uh, kind of like a, a Wi-Fi router um, you have this thing plug in it's sort of this box and stick it wherever and it sends out whatever it is it sends out um, and that powers any unit that has a receiver on the unit uh, so let's say your blender, um, if it's receiving from this router, then it'll wirelessly charge. So um, there's two ways to do this. Uh, one, let's start with the magnetic way. Um, and the, the, ma the magnetism way, it's sort of like a, you've been surrounded by this. You probably may not know it though. So... Um, if you if you take so let's take the reverse of that let's let's look at an electric motor um, the way an electric motor works is you know you have you have a spinny part and you plug it in and when you plug it in the electricity it alternates um, 
your your poles, your north pole, south pole, right over here, and on the end of the shaft is a magnet, and as this alternates, this alternates, and this gets spinning, and that's your electric motor. You connect this to whatever you want to, and, and you get motion. So if you reverse that, and you uh, you create motion here, right, and then this magnet spins, and that makes this magnet spin, and that generates electricity, well then all you have to do is get this shaft to spin, and you then you create electricity over here. So wireless uh, charging through magnetism is just the reverse of an electric motor. So if you can create a magnetic field to swap, you know, there's you don't have to have physical connection here. You create magnetic field swap here, that gets your main magnet to move and that generates electricity. Um, another way to do this is through radio waves. And so this gets back to the RFID um, topic that we talked about last week. If you... Uh, so remember in, in the RFID you had a base, a reader, and then you had a, a chip. Well, in, in wireless charging, if you just have a, an output, the router, sending off radio waves at a frequency other than what everything else is kicking radio waves out at, right? Because your Wi-Fi has a frequency, your, your telephones have a frequency. Um, when you turn on the microwave, that's a frequency. So if you select the frequency so it's not disturbing all your other devices, and you just pump that out, and then you have a receiver receiving the radio waves and converting that to electricity. Uh, the closer you are, the more power you get. The further away, you know, the less powerful it becomes. Uh, but if you have a router that's kicking out radio waves all day, then you don't have to be right up to it because you're not trying to charge right away. You could charge over the whole day. So if your blender is sitting there, the router is going to kick out radio waves all day and your blender will constantly be charged. So that's the concept here. Um, it's another step towards your house becoming a smart house. Um, basically it's becoming an electric house. Uh, you know, wireless charging isn't a smart technology. It's not, it doesn't give your appliances brains, but it, it does allow for your appliances to not have cords anymore. Can you imagine that? All your stuff not having cords. So you put your router somewhere, and then you can put your blender and your toaster and your microwave, and then in another day, you can be like, I don't like where the placement is, and you swap them all around, and because they're wireless, it doesn't matter. Um, and because your router's on all the time, you get constant charging. So, I don't know if it'll work. Uh, again, everything, it depends on the money that it makes. Um, we'll see how... How that goes. Uh, um, is that all I have to say about wireless charging? I think it is. So there you go. I'll put links down below. Um, I have to go get to work. You got to go do whatever it is you do. And I uh, hope you enjoy your day. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technology. Thanks again.